I'm going to be uh, extracting the brake fluid now and then adding some fresh fluid. I use a syringe here to do that. So there's a strainer under the cap here, the brake fluid. If you want to remove the brake fluid, you have to pull that out. And what I do is use some long nose pliers and just open them and use it to pull that out. There's really no way to grab it except internally, you see. It's a fine screen that keeps trash from getting into the brakes. So I'm going to put that on a nice clean sheet. Of, uh, I'm going to put that right here. Now I can get my syringe to go down and down into the brake reservoir. And this way when I go to bleed the brakes, I'll be pulling in fresh oil or brake fluid and not this old stuff. I'm going to be uh, extracting the brake fluid now and then adding some fresh fluid. I use a syringe here to do that. Get this out of my way for now. So I found a way to um, extract the rest of the brake fluid without using a needle. I found there's a side, there's a port just to the side there that allows the tubing to go into. I've got the tubing in, stuck in it now. And so when I pull this tube out, you'll see there's a slot down in there. It's uh, right there. And that's large enough to accept the tubing. I'm going to go one more and see if I can get any more out of it through the side. I think I've pretty much got it all. So now I can add the brake fluid. 
So on the cap, it's a little it's a little hard to read, but it does say dot three brake fluid. So got a can of that. So I'll be flushing this again after using the car a little bit. But that's a, a quite a bit clearer than, uh, than what I have over there. It looks pretty old. So now I'm going to put the filter back in. Actually, yeah. I'm going to put the filter back in there. It just drops in. And I'll put the lid back on there.